Good morning, Bermuda. I am dictating this note, which I placed on Facebook just a few minutes ago. Good morning, Bermuda. I pen this at a late or early hour, as I've had a number of conversations yesterday and today where persons have expressed concern about the government giving away money to a foreigner. I've also seen a number of posts on social media and did engage in a little bit of back and forth on Twitter yesterday. Given my schedule today, I am just having the chance to sit down and pen this detailed note. Let me start by saying this. If there was any doubt that there is an election coming, yesterday's Royal Gazette story, which was largely a rehash of one that ran over a year ago, proves it. On July 19, 2019, the Royal Gazette ran the story of this action being filed by the government to recover the money owed, complete with the actual loan agreement. I state loan agreement as it is important, as there are many who feel that this money was, quote, given away, but it was a loan agreement with the requisite security. Magically, eight days before the general election, we get what we got today, a rehash of this story. Though, this time around, the story is juicily written with a sensational headline that was intended to raise ire. It certainly worked. So, allow me to provide some context. After the OBA government spent $3 million refurbishing Moresby House and $39 million constructing Cross Island, we were determined to put the area to good use. The government agreed to partner in good faith with a Bermuda company that had a local partner and an overseas partner to utilize Moresby House. Let me elaborate on this point. This project would never have been a consideration without a Bermudian in the equation. The government doesn't give funds to foreigners to, and I quote, build their dreams, end quote. There have been many persons who have come to the government with proposals, and we have always maintained that there is no conversation without a Bermudian partner in the frame. The intention of this initiative was a good one. It was to develop a top-level recording studio in a government building capable of servicing local and international artists. The view that this was for the sole benefit of someone from overseas is not correct, as the studio was to be constructed in a government-owned building for the benefit of Bermuda, especially local entertainers. Again, it was to be constructed in a government-owned building. As the Premier, I fully supported this project. Every financial order was followed, advice from technical officers for the protection of the government of Bermuda was accepted, and due diligence was performed. The two persons who signed the loan agreement are jointly and severably liable for the debt. The impression given by this story is that someone came to Bermuda, gave us a presentation, and we let them fly away with $800,000 in a suitcase. That is not what happened here. Government ministers cannot release monies from government accounts. Public officers are the only persons who can authorize monies to be sent, and they must be satisfied that all is according to financial instructions. It is important to note that the loan was being serviced for a time in 2018. However, when the payments started falling behind and then stopped, action was taken to protect the government's interests. This initiative did not work out, and the government is pursuing funds that are legally owed to the taxpayers of Bermuda. Directions were also given to prepare necessary documents and information for the Bermuda Police Service to investigate any possible criminal wrongdoing, and also for U.S. authorities to be engaged to assist with the recovery of funds owed to taxpayers. Whether it is $2 million stolen by UK nationals who absconded with government money or $200 million that must be recouped because of a failed taxpayer guaranteed project, the position of the government is the same. The government will do everything it can to have the funds return. In hindsight, 
Could this have been handled better? There is absolutely no doubt about that. Though I am skeptical of the Royal Gazette's timing, the press plays an important role in our democracy. And yes, questions should be asked, as there should be a recording studio in Moresby House right now, and there is not one. I further recognize that, especially in these difficult economic times, every penny must be accounted for. The cries of Bermuda citizens resonate with me, and I fully understand the anger. There are some who feel they could have succeeded in this enterprise and were never given the same opportunity as this company. Though we have helped countless Bermudians with funding for education, sports, arts, and youth development, there are many that feel this $800,000 that was loaned to fit out a studio could have benefited them. The cabinet I lead is responsible for the actions of the government. And though proper process was followed for the granting of a loan for this project, the end result is a less than flattering view of competence and accountability. I accept that. And as premier, the buck must stop with me. I was the premier and minister of finance when it happened, and I supported this project. No part of me feels good about the fact that this did not work. I fully get the anger and frustration. It is deserved, and I am sorry. Lessons have been learned from this episode, and the government has taken the necessary steps to ensure that protections are further strengthened to protect against a circumstance like this occurring in this or any future government. The Ministry of Finance has directed that any future loan agreements that may be considered must have an escrow agreement attached to ensure that loan proceeds are used for their intended purpose. So, as I close this note at this early hour, I end with this. A project that had all the best intentions to benefit Bermuda and Bermudians, which enjoyed the support of the cabinet and passed the scrutiny of public officers did not work out. 30 months later, I am a better, more experienced premier. And note, just as the government has learned lessons, I have too. Every day we work to get better at our jobs, and this experience, though costly, has been instructive. Every day I aim to do better than the last, and for me, today will be no different. Thank you for listening and have a great day.